Hi, we're here with Riley Curran. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm very well. How about yourself? Wonderful. So what brought you to the Bud Summit today? The hot box, from what I understand, is the marijuana industry's version of Shark Tank. And there should be a panel of multi-millionaire cannabis investors looking for the best products, the best innovative ideas that will help expand the cannabis industry and also raise awareness. What I'm bringing is a white labeling service. So I'm going to basically be a liaison between American companies, dispensaries, head shops, veterans affairs organizations, companies like Canicare Docs, and overseas manufacturers. So for anyone who's been involved in the business at all, dealing with overseas manufacturers is way more of a headache than you would think it would be. And it's very easy to get ripped off. It's very easy to get faulty products. It's very difficult to get any customer service. So what I'd like to do, since I have established uh, relationships with some manufacturers overseas, some good ones, and I know how to kind of navigate those waters a little bit, I want to act as a middleman for uh, very business, uh, very busy business owners that don't have the time in their busy schedule to actually spend um, hours and hours in the middle of the night dealing with overseas manufacturers in different time zones with a language barrier. So that's what I do. What inspired this? Well, it kind of happened all by accident. Dr. John Whitman of Canicare Docs actually uh, found out that a friend of mine was selling CO2 vaporizers and got wind of that and asked me to get a quote for him for a thousand vapor, uh, vapor kits. And they said that they wanted logos on it, they said they wanted a quality. And instead of going to my friend, I saw that as an opportunity for easy money, or so I thought. Turns out uh, it was very difficult. I spent a lot of nights without sleep. I spent a lot of money getting nowhere, getting ripped off. And I was ready to give up until I realized that there was some money to be made offering this service for companies like Canicare that didn't have the time to deal with this internally. And that's why they asked other people to deal with it for them. It's, it's a huge headache. So I ended up powering through it, coming through with an excellent product, the Canicare Vapor Kit, if you ask me. I mean, you know, we'll get into that in a different series. But, uh, Later. but I ended up being successful with that and finding some other companies that really benefited from the same service. And now here I am looking to expand upon that. I think that I can help a lot of companies and a lot of people get quality stuff. So have you experienced many challenges throughout all this? Oh yeah. No I lost a lot of beauty sleep, I yeah. gotta say. Um, I was banging my head metaphorically and literally, and literally on a wall over and over. So literal and metaphorical headaches throughout the whole thing. Like I said, monetarily speaking, uh, it cost a lot. I, I spent a few hundreds of dollars, uh, you know, a few weeks paychecks actually just getting totally ripped off or getting products that I couldn't even bring to Canicare Docs, you know, without shame. So I didn't. I threw it all away. Um, so yeah, Quality I guess, control is important. Oh, absolutely. Abs especially when you're dealing with medical patients. I mean, this is a medicine, uh, this is a medicinal industry first, you know, and especially for Canicare Docs, they're, they want to ensure that all their patients are taken care of and that they're getting the best, most quality products because not everything from, you know, overseas, from China, from India, whatever, uh, is healthy or safe or manufactured in an ethical manner. Um, so there's a lot of stuff to filter out to make sure that you're getting the price point, you're getting the quality, and you're providing your customers with the products and services that they really need. So what has been the, you know, the most rewarding aspect of it all? Money. Yeah? Money. Well, no, no not just that. Uh, of course. I, I would say the networking I've gotten out of this. You know, I mean, I kind of fell into this by accident and realized how big this industry is becoming. Like I knew it was gonna be big, I knew it was gonna expand, but I didn't know how big and how quickly it was gonna expand. And I didn't realize how much room for growth there are. There's a lot of paralleling industries that are developing and budding, pun intended, nice. with the cannabis industry. So there's a lot of room for me to get into other business ventures and even just from meeting people at uh, expos like this, I've gotten a few job offers to work for different companies here and there just by meeting friendly people that see that you're an ambitious, young, handsome man. So <laughs> I have a good sense of humor You're too. hilarious. I I'm love this guy. I'm also very humble. Very yes, humble. very humble. Well, Riley, thank you so much for joining us. We thank appreciate you. all that you do.